Hey guys, welcome back. So, it's been a while since I've done an actual instructional video, so today I thought I'd show you guys how I make the best fire starter that I've come across. Now, you all have all seen this. This is wet fire, all weather tender. Now, this is good stuff, and I do use this sometimes. Uh, the problem with this is that it costs about $5 for a 5-pack, so you might as well be burning $1 bills. Now, this is pretty efficient stuff, uh, but it, it's cost prohibitive. Uh, so if you want to make something yourself, I'm going to show you how to make something that's comparable. Now, it's not waterproof, but it is water resistant, and it gives you about the same burn time, and you get a nice tall flame. Uh, and that's important if you're looking for a, uh, a flame extender to act as a fire starter. Now, I can't take credit for this idea. Another guy that's in my tracking team with me actually told me about this, and he called them wax warmer cotton balls because that's exactly how he made the first batch. He used a wax warmer, took a cotton ball, dipped it halfway in there, and boom, there you go, the fire starter. Now, I've modified that just a little bit, and I'm going to show you guys how I make this. So, stay tuned. Okay, guys, this is all you're going to need to uh, make this. Uh, what I have here is just a can that I've cut up. You can see how I've actually shaped this. And this is going to be basically our wax warmer. This is going to act as the pot stand. This is going to be our pot. And our heat source is going to be this little tea light. Same thing a wax warmer would use. Now, we also need wax, so I have gulf wax. Uh, this is used mainly in canning. Uh, you can also use it for candle making. And what we're doing here is not too different from that. Uh, and this is what it looks like when you break off a piece. Now this actually dries clear, as you can see. And whenever that gets on a cotton ball, you can't really see it. So I have a little piece here of red wax to give our wax a little bit of color so you guys can see what's going on with it. And I've got a cup, couple cotton balls here. And I've got a little toothpick that I'm going to use to stir the wax up with. And then here, we've just got some tin foil, and that's what we're going to use after we take a cotton ball, dip into the wax, set it down on the tin foil so it can dry. And once those are dry, take some Vaseline or petroleum jelly, and you'll smear it on the exposed parts of the cotton ball. Now whenever you get this hot, and you dip the cotton ball in there, you only want about half of the cotton ball to touch the wax. And it'll soak up a lot more than you think. And the reason you only want half of it is because this section here, the top part that doesn't have wax on it, is going to act as a wick. This is what you're actually going to light and then it turns into kind of a fat candle. Okay, So it'll, it'll burn the wax on the bottom and like I said it will burn up to about 10 minutes. So it's pretty efficient stuff. So let's get everything set up here and get this going. Let me find a lighter. Right here. There's that. That there. And I want to make up probably probably about a half dozen of these. Okay. I'm gonna set that right there. And then it's going to take probably about 10 minutes for this wax all to melt. So I'll bring you guys back whenever it's all melted and we're ready to work with it. Okay. So it appears that our wax is sufficiently melted. So we're going to go ahead and start. Now this is how I've kind of formed the cotton ball. I've just kind of popped up this little section here so that I can hold on to it. Bottom half in there, pull it out, and that's all you got to do. Set it aside to dry. Now it doesn't matter if you get more than half on here, you can really sop this stuff up. Just so long as you've got enough. That can light. So uh, if you can still hold on to it, you've got enough that you can light. <laughs> okay. 
guys, the wax is getting hard now. So the next step is just to take some petroleum jelly and just kind of go over that wick portion to the top of that cotton ball. You, know, you don't have to saturate this, just get the uh, surface of it and that will keep that water resistant. I'm going to keep one of these out of the package so I can show you how they burn. I already did that one. See, this doesn't doesn't take a whole lot. And whenever we package these, it's going to look just like that. I actually pulled that out of my pack just so I could show you guys what it's eventually going to look like. Now, if you're going to carry this for any length of time, I highly recommend that you use a vacuum sealer. That will keep it more waterproof and more compact than just a uh, Ziploc bag. Just in case I forgot to mention, the reason that you wrap it in aluminum foil is because you can take that aluminum foil if it's windy out and you can make a windscreen out of it. Also if you don't have any container to boil water and that's something that you need to do well, you can make a makeshift container out of the foil. Okay. Now, that's done. Alright. So now, take our tin foil here. Try to organize these, kind of sort it in the center. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Okay, right there. And this way you can kind of keep all the Vaseline together. Keep it from drying out as quickly. Okay, now the burn test. So what you want to do is take this and just kind of break apart that top wick section there. Just so you can get it lit with a ferrocium rod. Okay, just like so. This particular rod is made by Primus. Uh, I don't use it very often. I usually use the magnesium fire starters, but okay. let's see if I can get this. There we go. There. Perfect. As you see, even though I smacked the plate a little bit there, <laughs> it lights up pretty quick. And it'll burn like that for a long time. Let me start my stopwatch. I'll tell you exactly how long it burns. Once the top portion of that cotton ball starts burning down, it starts acting like a candle wick and it'll start burning that wax. Or at least melting the wax. Okay, while that's burning, I uh, figured I'd show you guys one more thing. Now, since we're talking about fire starters, uh, we all know that you're supposed to carry at least three different types of methods for lighting a fire. And for most people, that's going to be a lighter uh, ferro rod and matches. Now in the past I always thought that the weakest link in all of that was the matches. After all, what can a match do that your ferro rod can't do or your lighter can't do? And it was until I found these. Now these, I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen these before, these are the UCO Stormproof Matches. And they advertise 
up to a 15 second burn time and matches will relight after submerged in water. So of course I had to try that. <laughs> so I pulled one match out here. And one other thing I, I figured I would mention is a lot of people will take the match and they'll drag it across this uh, striking section here. And what that does, it'll actually tear up that striker. Uh, a better way to do it is to just kind of hold it at an angle and tap it. So I've got some water set up here. I'm going to reposition the camera and see if this particular one will light, get dunked in water, and still maintain light after I pull it back out. So you see that <laughs> fire starter is working really good. <laughs> it's really kicking now. It's been burning for over three minutes. So let's try this. There we go. Holy crap! It works! <laughs> well, that's pretty impressive if you ask me. It's really burning down now. What about eight minutes? But it's still going. Alright, I'm gonna call that burned out. And we are at nine minutes and forty seconds roundabouts. Still smoldering a little bit. So, yeah, it is what it is. And that's pretty good. Alright, guys, that's been my time for the day. Uh, fire starter is still smoldering after 10 minutes. Um, <laughs> and again, that was the UCO stormproof matches when they say stormproof they ain't kidding so you know if you're the type of person that likes to uh, light a match and I'll decide to take a swim before you light the campfire these are the matches for you <laughs> all right guys uh, hope you enjoyed it uh, if you did give me a thumbs up and until next time hopefully you'll get to see me at deer camp <laughs> all right guys thanks for watching